Why don't Georgia historians use bookmarks? Because they always like to go back in history. Welcome to our video where we delve into the rich history of the Peach State. Today, we're setting our sights on five historical hotspots. Stone Mountain Park, the heart of the civil rights movement, the ancient Etowah Indian Mounds, historic Savannah, and the last frontier at Okefenokee Swamp Park. So buckle up as we journey through time and explore the fascinating history of Georgia. Our first stop is the awe-inspiring Stone Mountain Park. A testament to history's indelible mark, Stone Mountain Park sprawls over 3,200 acres of lush Georgian landscape. The park's crown jewel, the Stone Mountain itself, is a quartz monzonite dome monadnock, a geological marvel that has stood the test of time. But the park is more than just a natural wonder. It's a tapestry of history woven into the very fabric of the South. The colossal Confederate memorial carving, etched into the mountain's northern face, is a testament to that. This awe-inspiring masterpiece depicts three Confederate figures of the Civil War, President Jefferson Davis, General Robert E. Lee, and Lieutenant General Thomas Stonewall Jackson. It's the largest high-relief sculpture in the world, a feat of artistic and engineering prowess that took over 50 years to complete. The foundations of Stone Mountain Park as we know it today were laid in the mid-19th century. The Venable Brothers, owners of the mountain, leased the North Face to the United Daughters of the Confederacy in the early 20th century, setting the stage for the monumental carving. Over the years, the park has developed into a popular tourist attraction, offering a fascinating blend of natural beauty, historical significance, and recreational activities. Stone Mountain Park's significance to the Civil War is undeniable. The mountain was a strategic point during the Battle of Atlanta in 1864, used as a signal station by the Confederate Army. Today, the park commemorates this past with a museum dedicated to the Civil War and the mountain's history. From its towering granite monolith to its Civil War past, Stone Mountain is truly a historical gem. Its story is a reminder of a time that shaped the nation, a monument to history that continues to inspire, educate, and captivate. As we journey through Georgia's top historical sites, remember that each stop is not just a location, but a testament to the past and a beacon for the future. From its towering granite monolith to its Civil War past, Stone Mountain is truly a historical gem. Next, we move to the heart of the Civil Rights Movement, the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site. Imagine walking the same streets where a young Martin Luther King Jr. once played, Envisioning a world where the color of one's skin wouldn't determine their place in society, that's the experience that awaits you at this historic site in Atlanta, Georgia. King's Birthplace, a two-story Victorian house on Auburn Avenue, is more than just a preserved home. It's a symbol of the humble beginnings from which greatness emerged. Born here in 1929, this house bore witness to King's early years, shaping the man who would later be a beacon of hope and change. A stone's throw away you'll find the Ebenezer Baptist Church. It was here, in this modest red brick building where King discovered the power of words and the influence of a well-delivered sermon. As a co-pastor with his father, King honed the oratory skills that would, one day, inspire millions to stand up against injustice. But the site isn't just about places, it's also about the ideas and the struggles that marked the civil rights movement. The visitor center showcases a range of exhibits, each telling a chapter of the movement's story. From Rosa Parks' stand against segregation to the iconic March on Washington, the center immerses visitors in pivotal moments of this defining era. Every brick, every room, every exhibit at this historic site echoes with the courage, resilience, and indomitable spirit of those who dared to dream of a more equitable world. It's a testament to their struggle, their sacrifices, and their enduring legacy. Walking these grounds, you can't help but feel a sense of awe awe for the man who dared to dream and the movement that dared to disrupt. It's more than a step back in time. It's a step into the heart of a movement that redefined a nation. A visit to this site offers a poignant reminder of the struggle for equality and the enduring legacy of Dr. King. Journeying back in time, we reach the ancient Etowah Indian Mounds. Here in what is now known as Cartersville, Georgia, a remarkable Native American civilization once thrived. This was the home of the Mississippian culture, a society that flourished from roughly the year 1000 until the 16th century. At the heart of this civilization were the Etowah Mounds, a series of earthen structures that towered over the landscape like ancient skyscrapers. 
There are six mounds in total, each one telling a unique story. The largest, Mound A, rises over 60 feet high and covers three acres, a testament to the skill and dedication of the people who built it. These mounds were not merely impressive architectural feats, they held deep cultural and spiritual significance. Mounds were often used for ceremonies as burial sites and as platforms for the homes of the elite. Their presence demonstrates a complex social hierarchy and a deep reverence for tradition and the natural world. Archaeologists have unearthed a wealth of artifacts from the site, each one offering a glimpse into the lives of the people who lived there. Pottery, tools, and intricate jewelry tell of a society rich in art and craftsmanship. Sculptures of winged warriors and other mythical beings speak to a vibrant spiritual life. Even the layout of the site itself reveals much about the Mississippian culture. The mounds, plaza, and defensive ditch were carefully placed in relation to each other and to celestial events. This suggests that the Etowa people had a sophisticated understanding of astronomy and geometry, and that they saw their place in the universe as deeply interconnected with the land they inhabited. As we stand in the shadow of these ancient mounds, we're reminded of the rich tapestry of human history that stretches back long before the founding of the United States. We're reminded of the vibrant cultures that have shaped this land, their stories woven into the very earth beneath our feet. Thus, these mounds stand as a testament to the rich and diverse history that predates modern Georgia. We now find ourselves in the charming and historic city of Savannah. Yes, Savannah, where every street corner whispers tales from the past, and the architecture is as rich in history as the soil beneath it. Steeped in history, Savannah is like a time capsule. This city has seen it all, from the early colonial period to the heat of the American Revolution, and right through the thick of the Civil War. It's a city that has stood the test of time, preserving its past for future generations to explore and appreciate. The city's architecture is a testament to its historical significance. Savannah's historic district, for instance, is a living museum of 18th and 19th century architecture. From the stately federal-style homes to the ornate Victorian mansions, every building tells a story. And the best part? Many of these architectural gems are perfectly preserved, standing as stoic reminders of the past. But Savannah's history isn't just about beautiful buildings. This city played a crucial role in two of America's most defining periods, the American Revolution and the Civil War. During the Revolution, Savannah was a strategic port city, and during the Civil War, it served as a vital Confederate stronghold. The city's history is intertwined with the nations, and it's hard to tell one without the other. And let's not forget about Savannah's haunted reputation. Yes, you heard that right. Savannah is said to be one of the most haunted cities in America. With centuries of history, it's not hard to see why some believe that echoes of the past still linger. From ghost tours to haunted inns, the city embraces its spectral reputation, adding yet another layer to its rich history. So whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or just someone who enjoys a good ghost story, Savannah has something to offer. It's a city that not only preserves its history, but celebrates it, making it a must-visit destination for anyone looking to step back in time. With its cobblestone streets and historic landmarks, Savannah truly is a living piece of history. Our final destination is Georgia's last frontier, the Okefenokee Swamp Park. Our journey now takes us to the southernmost part of Georgia, to a place where time seems to have stood still, the Okefenokee Swamp Park. This vast wetland spanning over 700 square miles is one of the oldest and best preserved freshwater areas in America. The swamp's history is as deep and mysterious as its murky waters. Geological evidence suggests that it's been around for at least 6,000 years, a silent witness to the rise and fall of civilizations. The indigenous tribes of the region, the Creek and the Seminole, considered the swamp a sacred place. They named it Okafinoki, which in their language means land of the trembling earth. The swamp was not only a spiritual center but also a crucial part of their survival. They relied on its rich ecosystem for hunting, fishing, and gathering, and the dense vegetation offered protection from invaders. But the Okafinoki Swamp is more than a historical site. It's a living, breathing ecosystem teeming with a diverse range of wildlife. From the iconic American alligator to the rare red cockaded woodpecker, the swamp is home to over 400 species of animals. It's a nature lover's paradise, a place where one can truly appreciate the beauty and fragility of our natural world. Despite its name, the Okefenokee is not a true swamp but a peat-filled wetland. The peat, 
which can be up to 15 feet deep in places, is a natural archive preserving thousands of years of ecological history in its layers. Scientists are still uncovering the secrets held within this PD time capsule, learning more about our planet's past and how it might shape our future. The Okefenokee Swamp Park, with its diverse wildlife and rich history, is a must-visit for every history and nature enthusiast. This last frontier is a testament to Georgia's past, a time capsule of natural history, and a beacon for conservation efforts. It's a place where one can step back in time and experience the world as it was centuries ago, untouched and unspoiled by modern civilization. And that wraps up our historical journey through Georgia. We've traversed mountains, ancient mounds, historic cities, and swamps. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your fellow history buffs. Until next time, keep exploring.